Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. In this session, we are going to discuss one of the projection of lines problem using Solid Edge V18 software. Let me go to the question. The question is given like this. A line AB has its end A 20 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. The other end B is 60 mm above HP and 45 mm in front of VP. The distance between end projectors is 70 mm. Draw its projections, determine the apparent lens and true inclinations. Here they not given direct inclinations and instead of that they given some other data by using that we need to find the true length as well as the inclinations. So first uh, we have to draw xy line and this is the first quadrant uh, vp hp will be written above xy and below xy line and we go to the line first we need to take the starting point n a is 20 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp so just draw a locus line so this uh, locus line should be horizontal to the xy uh, parallel to xy as well as and we will take one more locus line in line with the starting point a in hp also and we will give the distance now above hp distance will be shown in vp so we get, take the distance between these two is above hp it is the given 20 so enter 20 and then again uh, select the second line in the vp sorry in hp that is in front of VP distance we have to show it in HP that is the given 15 so change to 15. So like this we got two points that is A uh, above HP and in front of VP we can name it here itself. This is above HP A dash and in front of VP A. So one end we got it A A dash that is a 20 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. And then usually in previous problem they used to give the length and angle we used to draw but here they not given that instead of that they give one another point is uh, end uh, B that is another point B is 60 mm above HP and 45 in front of VP. So we need to draw one more two, two more lines uh, that is in one is in VP and second one is in HP okay and these, these two lines now we need to give the distance between take the distance between and above HP they said the other end is B is 60 mm above HP. So we need to give this one 60 because 60 mm above HP and then 45 in front of VP. So now we need to give this one because in front of VP will be shown in HP. So this is 45 like this we need to give it. So now given condition is a uh, B end is 60 mm and 40 mm in front of VP and above HP we finished. And then one more data they gave one that is the distance between end projectors. The end projectors nothing but the line joining between front and top view that is there A A dash this is the one line we joining and one more will come here B to B dash the line joining the these two lines will be par parallel to each other that is A to A dash and one more B to B dash that is the distance between those two lines called as distance between end projectors. So now we need to draw one line. So that line should uh, across the these two the end B what we take an end B. The line should be perpendicular and it should be parallel to here. Now we need to give distance between these two. This line and this line should be end projectors 70 mm this set we need to take it 70. Okay. Now the line intersecting the 60 mm line and as well as 45 mm line this is the point we, we get here B dash as well as B. That is what uh, the end projectors. End projectors are the lines joining between top view and front view that is A to A dash and B to B dash these are the end projectors they give a distance 70. So when this end projector is crossing the uh, these two lines that is uh, point B they said 60 mm above HP and 45 in front of VP that is why these two points become the uh, final view front and top view this is a front view and top view. Now we need to go to line visible line join those two points intersection points of this. Okay, this is the final front view as well as top view. You can measure the distance A dash B dash and as well as A B. This one is P not the B dash. It, 
should be written as B. Okay. Now, this is the apparent length and apparent uh, angle. You can check, check the angles that is alpha uh, and the beta angle. So, 30 degree. So, 23 uh, degree. But they said to find the apparent length we found out that is A dash B dash 80.62 and A B 76.16. Then they said true inclinations. True inclination we have to uh, find out. So, to get that we will uh, uh, do the reverse method. So, initially what we do first we will take the true length and true angle what is, whatever the given we are taking now and then we are getting this apparent length and the apparent angle. Now, we will, will do the reverse. How to do the reverse means go to arc by center point and now take A uh, as a center and B as a uh, arc starting point and draw the arc till the locus of A. Like this we need to draw the arc. This one we can draw with the normal line. We need to draw with the normal line. And then go to line from the end of this arc we need to draw a straight line till the locus of B dash. And now this is the work the true length that is B 1 dash. Okay. This is B dash and this is B 1 dash. If you want we can show the directions. This is just a reverse. Initially what we do first we will get the B 1 dash then we are drawing arc and we are getting B. But we are we already know the B that is why we are reversing it. From the B we will draw and we will get the B 1 dash. Similar way, so we can take go to arc by center point, take A dash as a center and go to the B dash, take it as arc starting point, draw the arc till the locus of A dash and then go to line from the end of the arc, we need to draw straight line till the locus of B and now this will be our B1 and now join the line between A dash to B1 dash as well as A to B1 and then uh, for here we, we show the directions or to avoid the confusions we can show the directions here like this and then now we can measure the true angle set this to this is the 28 degree sorry this line is drawn wrong I will check it again go to line from the A to B1 like this we need to draw the line and then angle between select these two then 20 degree. Okay. Finally, we got all the solutions at the end. So, we can write that data. Okay, now we will write down the, all the values. Uh, first theta 28 degree. So, to write the uh, symbol we can go to insert character uh, here we can see the theta select and uh, copy this and minimize and here click it and uh, paste it. We will paste that theta and then uh, equal to uh, yeah, almost 28 degree. Degree also we can go to the insert character so here we need to find the degree. So here the degree, select, copy and we will come back here. So now we got uh, theta, similar way. We can uh, take the 5, go to insert, symbol, get the fair insert 5, oh, 5, select, copy, delete, delete, delete equal to how much that is a 20 degree degree you can take it here itself copy this and then okay next we will write take that uh, length a b a b we got uh, 76 and then uh, a dash b dash is uh, 80 we will take round up 80 Okay, finally all the data we found and we also we entered. Okay, now the problem is completed.